In this presentation, we'll take a look at two strategies that make for good readers and good writers. The first is active reading, and the second is close reading. When talking about active reading, we will look at two main ideas. The first will be strategies for active reading, and the second are the four stages of active reading. By using active reading, readers grow as they learn to interpret text. Remember, don't read homework like you read a magazine. When you read for pleasure, you're often doing it passively. Passive reading is done without active and critical mindsets. Active reading is using certain techniques to more fully engage with a text. When you read your homework, you want to be fully engaged. No passive reading. Good readers do many things at once. They infer, they think, they question, and they try to find the structure. As shown in this graphic, they use multiple parts of their personal strategies in order to pull everything together. As your act of reading, remember to keep your focus on meaning. What any writer means can be interpreted in many ways by many people. It's really important to know what you believe the meaning of a text is. Therefore, you're going to want to find the main idea. This is the key concept of the topic, the meaning, and sometimes you form your own opinion about the meaning, and that's okay. As you're reading actively, you'll want to annotate. There are many benefits of annotating. Annotating is simply writing notes in the margins of the text as you read. Annotating will help you locate and interpret the meaning of any text. Annotations will give you a variety of points to keep in mind, and annotating will save you time. As you can see, in addition to writing notes, you can also use highlighting. Here's an example of a paper that's been annotated. You can see that there are plenty of questions and comments circles and arrows on the page. Here's another example of annotating. This time the annotations have been done with post-it notes and tabs as the individual does not want to write in the text. Here's a quick tip. When annotating you can use symbols to capture your reactions. You can put a star next to important things an exclamation point next to interesting things, a plus next to key words, arrows to describe processes, directions, or events in the plot, and question marks where you've become confused or have a question to discuss in class. Here are some helpful tips for annotating. One, try to determine the topic. What is it that's being talked about? Try to determine the main idea. What is the writer's point? And three, find the supporting details. These are three elements of comprehension. If you can teach students to do these three things, you've made a great deal of progress. Strategies for active reading. Always read with a pencil in hand and annotate. Question statements made by the author. Identify important ideas and look up words that you don't know. There are four stages of active reading. We call them the PR3. They are prep, read, review, prep, read, reread, and review. When you're prepping, you're accessing your prior knowledge. Reading is when you're annotating. Rereading is when you're annotating and going back over the main idea, and then reviewing to determine what your further responses to the text would be. 
Did you see where it said read it twice? Yes, read it twice. Just like listening to music or watching a movie, the more often you hear it or see it, the more the fine points you'll absorb. You really do need to read everything more than once. When reading informational text, you'll want to read the response questions at the end of the selection prior to beginning reading. For literature, you'll want to use the Peanuts reading strategies. What are the Peanuts reading strategies? Let's take a look. The Peanuts reading strategies are predict, visualize, connect, question, clarify, and evaluate. Each strategy asks you to try to figure out what might happen next, who the people or places are, make connections to the real world, and so forth. Let's review. So far you've learned about passive reading, active reading, annotating, summarizing, you've learned the three most important factors in a passage, how to find the topic, and the main idea. Now that we're finished reviewing, let's take a look at the second strategy called close reading. When you create a close reading, you're going to ask students to take a look at a very small piece of text and read it carefully. Therefore, you should use a short passage. Make sure the students reread. Tell them to read with a pencil and make those annotations. And make sure they're asking the text dependent questions like the Snoopy characters. It's okay for students and for you to struggle a little bit as you close read. It gives you something to talk about in a whole group setting when you come back to class. Remember to read like a detective and write like a reporter. Now that we've finished going through both active reading and close reading, I'd like you to use the strategies to read a text titled A Respectable Woman written by Kate Chopin. You'll find it located in Blackboard and I hope you'll bring it to class annotated and ready to talk about. Thank you.